And he does it. Oh, that's the hit that we've been talking about all As the Leatherneck fans cheer on for their favorite team, they finally grab their victory after four overtimes in what was known as the longest football game in Western Illinois University history. However, if you go to the stadium today, this is what you'll hear. The sawing of bricks, the construction vehicles, and occasionally the silent work of painting the pavements. Many people already can feel the benefits of a brand new stadium. The overall atmosphere looks nice. I think the new bleachers look great. Like if something drops out your pocket now, it's, gonna, it's not going to fall all the way down. You know, you can just go reach down to pick it up. They're really pretty compared to the other ones. There's a lot more seats compared to the old ones. The construction team is working at their best to meet the September 29th deadline. Well, there's been a lot of roadblocks, but I think we're past those now. It seems like every time you turn around, there's another little glitch. He also says that after the north side's roof is put up, all that's left would be the finishing touches such as the doors, windows, and tiles. Until the roofs get on, we're kind of like at a standstill. And the masons are supposed to be done this week, so we ought to be in good shape. The next game will be our homecoming when the next take on North Dakota State University at the brand new Hansen Field. Fargo Buer, WIU-TV3, Hansen Field.